Hey my babies, welcome back to another natural hair video. It's your girl Adore Christiana. If you're new here, welcome. I just want to start off by saying I just took the best shower y'all. Oh my goodness, I feel so rejuvenated and fresh. Oh my goodness. But today... It's one of those days where I'm just gonna wing it. I'm feeling it. I woke up so excited to do my hair, per usual. But I just wanna do something different, cute, and quick. So just stick with me and let's see what I come up with. I'm sure by the title, you guys already know what I'm about to do, but let's see exactly how I do it, shall we? My babies know the drill, I always have to oil my scalp first thing. But now that I'm done, I'm gonna part my hair off down the middle. And I did go to a mirror just to make sure the back was straight. But afterward, I sectioned my hair off into halves and I grabbed my water, my favorite leave-in. And today I'm gonna use this curling cream. It's been sitting on my shelf. I'm like, you know what, let's try it. And of course, my eco. I sectioned my hair off one more time and I am soaking my hair, you guys. I do enjoy finger detangling, so I get in there really good with the water. Now I'm adding my leave-in, which just adds to this process. It really helps me get out all those tangles without any additional breakage and shedding. So this is just something that I make a habit of. But now I'm going to seal the leave-in in with my oil blend. Please do so with your type 4 hair, ladies. It makes such a difference. So after I detangle, I'm going to grab that curl-defining cream and rake it in. And I mean really good. I have not used this in a while, so I wanted to see, you know, what I was going to get out of it. And do y'all see these curls? Come on now. Yeah, I enjoyed this. Now I'm grabbing my gel and I'm gonna add that on top, y'all. And once my curls are nice and defined and juicy and manageable, I will brush the section out and braid it up. And I do love doing my hair in this order and in this way because it really does make my hair so manageable. Doing it section by section, adding every product that I need, and then going ahead and styling. There's no sign of tangles. I can just go through my hair with ease. It's time to run those steps back. And then I'll do the other half off camera and we will get into the style. Stay tuned. Now that I'm finishing up the other side, I'm going to take down the braids in the front because that's where I'm going to begin to part off for the rubber band style. I winged this part and I decided to create a rounded but slim part on each side of the middle part. So after I did get the part that I wanted, I just reinforced it with some gel and I went back through it to make sure it was nice and sharp. Once I liked it, I just detangled and tied it away so I could create the same part on the other side. I'm getting the remainder of my hair out of the way so I can continue to work on this front portion. Here are the rubber bands that I'm going to use. And for my first section, I started off by making more of a V or triangular 
part and I am going to use my edge booster from Style Factor to add it to the base and make sure it is very sleek and flat you know with thick hair we need to get them roots really flat so that's what I'm going to use in addition to my edge brush slash toothbrush to lay it down really nicely once it's secured i'm going to move on to the next part in which i decided to do a more rounded part this is that freestyle game y'all you know what i'm saying get with it so i did do a rounded part and i went ahead and moved along to the same steps adding my gel and my edge booster i forgot to mention that and I'm going to clip this away before I secure it because I decided to braid the first section and then add it to the next section. So now that it's braided up and added to the section, I will secure it. And as I move along to the next and last section of this rubber band style, I will move along with the same steps. I decided not to braid the second section into the third section but I was feeling it nonetheless now I'm finishing up the other side and this is what it looks like I'm now prepping for my two buns so I took the braid in the back down I'm detangling moisturizing and brushing my hair into position I'm gonna grab some gel and add it to the base of my hair you already know we got to get it very sleek i'm using my hard bristle brush to lay everything flat get rid of those bumps and to further position my ponytail and i do personally like to use two scrunchies to secure all of my ponytails so in this case i'm going to loop it once loop it twice and stop midway through the third loop to leave some curls at the end i am going to grab some bobby pins to further shape this bun and just get it how i want it to look and i did decide to do my bun like this after the fact that's why my other ponytail is secured but i didn't want to wrap my hair around the secured scrunchie i preferred this look better it just gave me more of a fun look and not just your typical basic round bun so as you can see i decided to define my curls at the bottom and get them popping because this was honestly a part of the statement piece in addition to the rubber bands you feel me so i defined them i further shaped my bun got it how i liked it and then i moved on to the next bun i followed all the same steps but this bun the only difference is that it dried up a little bit so i added some more water and detangled it before i created my bun My buns are basically done. I'm just paying some attention to the back of my hair. And this is what I'm looking like so far. It's about that time to now spice it up and do these baby hair. I begin by taking down any hair that I want to use to create my baby hairs. And then I'll go into my gel and add it directly to them. Once I map them out, I'm going to dab into my edge booster to add some more hold and shine and that will finish off my baby hair.
I'm adding some edge booster to the back of my hair and brushing that up and now I'm ready to set. So I am going to do this without disturbing my curls. I want them to dry nicely so once my scarf is on tight and secured, I do like to do this trick in the back where I pull up the excess scarf and twist it taut to the back of my hair so that the back dries flat as well and I'll secure it with the scrunchie and after a few minutes y'all, let's see how this looks. loves i am back and my hair is all done oh my goodness you guys i am in love with this like i had to stop in between me doing my hair and just geek for a second because it was coming together so cute oh my goodness i'm so excited about this look along the way i got some more ideas of how i can switch this look up and go from here and just try out different things so definitely stay tuned for some more fun cute natural hair looks i hope you enjoyed if you did give this video a like comment down below what you want to see from me next and you already know if you want to see more from me because i got more for you Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.